All right, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad, the Bahana Say Pastor's Elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, Akim, out there preaching the truth, <clears throat> pushing his word in all sincerity. And uh, 2018, slowly and slowly, well, well, excuse me, excuse me, not slowly and slowly. Things are coming quickly and quickly. Things are moving along, moving along. You got the prophets down there. They've been down there for years and years on 34th Street. Now they've moved, you know, the spirit had them to move to a different spot. Maybe they'll come back. Okay, all the brothers, so like all the brothers have been talking about net neutrality, which uh, basically uh, with your internet service provider, they've made a commitment to you to give you all of the uh, every website kind of at a regulated speed um, but with this uh, the different uh, internet service providers which uh, I don't remember off the top of my head you can look it up Comcast and some other companies basically all the companies owned by those companies they can kind of move them faster and all the other companies like Netflix and, and Facebook and all these other companies they can move them slower and then also uh, they can charge you for the services that are, that are right now that are free. The YouTube, the Instagram, all of that stuff is free. And uh, because the uh, the people who run it, they're, they're starting to see the new thing is if you want to be a star, you want to be a sensation, you want to get the million views or, or whatever, you know, however you want to make it, you can, you can go to these different free platforms, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. And boom, you got people rising up, uh, becoming stars overnight on these different platforms, making millions of dollars in streaming and all of this stuff. And, uh, you know, that money is leaving out of Esau's pocket because, you know, Esau back in the day, if you wanted to make music, I'm not trying to go into too deep on it, but, if, you know, if you wanted to make music, you had to pay Esau, rent the studio. Etc. Etc. Then you gotta sign the contract. You know, he might try to uh, fuck you over in that contract, which you know that's what the devil does. That's what Esau always does. You know, get 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 everything he can out of you. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 what you got going. On. And also, man, the Middle East. Uh, I'm gonna get to that too. In Syria, you know, things have cooled down. They they're talking about ceasefire negotiations, but we know according to prophecy uh, that 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 whole Gulf Gulf region, you know, that Valley of Jehoshaphat, we know that that's where the final uh, battle is going to take place. Armageddon, or in the Hebrew, Hamagadawan, Mountain of the Truth. <clears throat> but uh, real quick, getting into the scriptures, Ezekiel 33 and one. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Speak of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coasts and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. And that's what we're doing right now. Seems like a simple thing, but we go out um, because we're commanded to go out on the highways and byways and teach. And you call out, you're reading out the word to people. Sometimes they might have a question. Sometimes they might hear something and they'll just keep walking. And, and, and the, the part that gets me this is all this is all uh, uh, high regarded information. That's why you have certain Edomites who come by, and they just can't help themselves with the stuff that you're saying because they they know that what you know the middle Lord is saying is true. They're like, damn, how do these guys know about this? This is this is inside information. But these people, they just treat it like this is just a. Um, I don't know, man. I I don't know what's going on with their mind, but we know. You know, some some people are just not going to get it. The eyes are not going to be open. Um, the scriptures say they've closed their ears to it. <clears throat> but going back to verse six, uh, 
But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, O son of men, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. That's right. We're warning them from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shabbat because he's not going to come down and physically tell you exactly what's going on. You know, the Lord is not going to come down and, and physically talk to you. You know, he did that to Paul, of course. But that was just Paul. Paul, That was Paul's lot. Paul was on a higher level than, than the apostles who the Lord physically taught because the Lord was working with Paul. But for us, you, it tell you, you have to get it through men. <clears throat> And you have a whole bunch of Israelites who they want to play stupid and play crazy and, and just be completely dishonorable and and try to say that, you know, the men did not teach them or they just got it on their own. No, you have to be taught by men. But that's a, that's just a quick point. Nevertheless. Right. That's what. So, so back to the scriptures, though, it said, look, I've set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So who is the watchman unto the house of Israel? That's one thing you got to ask yourself. Who is that? Who is the person that's supposed to blow the trumpet when they see the sword coming? That's 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 if you're a man of the Lord, if you're um, an Israelite, that's you. That's supposed to be you. You're supposed to strive to do that and strive to fulfill the prophecies of that. When I when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do <clears throat> not turn his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but, has, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, as I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? That's right. So like I said, man, the Lord doesn't take pleasure in having to destroy the wicked, but that's just how he had it. That's how he had it set up that, look, the wicked is going to have to be destroyed because it talks about, look, that the Basically, the minds of these people have become so defiled. Um, you know, how's the gold become dross? These people are, are too far gone. And um, well, really, that's that's really I can I can do a whole another uh, subject on that. But yeah, yeah, that's 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 basically what it is. Um, you know, because a lot of times you get the feeling like, man, am I am I just prophesying for nothing? But, you know, as, as you can see, you, uh, if, if you've seen anything, um, you know, when the, when the apostles and the elders, when they were originally out there, they were, they were out there for years and for years and for years. And uh, like they talk about, you had all these other men who turned away, who turned away and uh, they didn't keep the course because uh, a, st or a stumbling block like the whole 2000, the uh, year 2000 thing. Or they just lost the faith. And right now you can see the house of David is being built up. The apostles and the elders uh, are, are, are starting to reap in the fruit. And you can see the spirit on the men of the Lord, uh, the men of Great Millstone and the other uh, groups who are in this same circle, like myself. <clears throat> and so, hey, man, it's, it's every everything we do towards to push the truth matters because you want to get the blood off these people's hands. You know, we're fishes of men, so a lot of times you have to um, you have to go into you know what they consider popular popular topics. You know, maybe maybe you can snag somebody like that, or you can you know it's it's a, it's a whole bunch of topics, whatever the spirit has you to do. But all the works in this truth do matter, and and we're we're supposed to uh, get the blood off of our hands. And that's what I, my, me myself. That's what I'm striving to do. I want I want I want myself to be clean and to be washed away. <clears throat> and it's a process of doing that too. But uh, yeah, that's that's all I had on this particular subject. 
Um, this is a, this is all a good chapter, Ezekiel. Matter of fact, I'm gonna continue on verse 12. Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wicked of the wicked, of the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall that he shall surely live. If he trusts his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all of his righteousness shall not be remembered. For before his iniquity that he hath committed, he shall die for. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die if he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed, walk in the statues of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of his sins that he hath committed shall be mentioned of him unto him. He have done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Yet the children of thy people said, The way of the Lord is not equal, and as for them, their way is not equal. When the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet ye say, The way of the Lord is not equal, O ye house of Israel, I will judge you every one after his ways. That's right. <clears throat> so hey, as as um as men who claim that we're righteous, we're commanded to keep our righteousness, because if we go in to be wicked, if we go in and we um you know you, you stop doing your videos, you lose the faith, you go off, you're not uh doing the things uh, that the men of the Lord are supposed to do. <clears throat> You're not keeping the dietary laws. You're not keeping your beard. You're not getting the camp. You're gonna be punished for that. Like I say, that the, um, when the righteous turneth from his righteousness and committed iniquity, he shall die thereby. But for wicked men, if they turn away, they're going to live. So, so hey, really, you know, us being righteous, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Of course, the Lord deals with the, the wise, but all that guarantees you. Is that you? You have a hard path ahead of you. It's a it's a path. It's a righteous path, but it is a hard path. But I don't want to over talk the scriptures. Uh, that's all I had on that. Just wanted to push that vibration out there because we're supposed to continue to speak to the nation of Israel. Um, don't 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 let that slump spirit get on you, man. That slump spirit was on me. I had to I had to pray on that. And I had to meditate on that. And uh, hopefully, uh, y'all by Shem Yahushat take that spirit off me for me. But uh, with that being said, call all y'all by Shem Yahushat. The one that's the positive, great millstone. Hey, shalom. Until next time.